raise a hand, raise a hand so we can get you a microphone. Kelly, we'll start with you. Jeff, obviously the game did not start the way you wanted. Kind of what happened on the first two interceptions? Um, really the first one. Um, we had to play wide open. Um, it was a great play call. And, um, he just got tipped at the line of scrimmage. Um, there's really nothing I can do about that. So you just got to forget about that one and go to the next drive. And then next drive, we had another great, another great play call. And um, I got hit while I was throwing it. So um, really just things that, that was out of, um, out of my control. And um, I just try to keep the offense regrouped and tell them, like, just forget about those two drives. We got a long game to play. And um, yeah, just, just got to go out there and control what you can control. Ace, how difficult was it to get off the field when you weren't able to get enough pressure on Pickett to allow him to sit back there and pick out some receivers? Um, you know, it's pretty it's, uh, difficult. Uh, they had a good scheme. They um, they max protect a lot today. Uh, they protected him, you know, gave him time to uh, make some throws. And he made um, he's a good player. He made some good plays, definitely with his uh, feet, with his arm. Um, so that's just that's just how the game goes sometimes, and you just gotta keep going and try to get get a stop the next one. Kelly again. Jeff, can you talk? You were had some different a different offensive line today, particularly at guard, and kind of how those guys did, and then also kind of dealing without Kyrick or Nate, and and Malik stepped up for you as well. Uh, yeah, um, the offensive line was a little banged up. Um, we had some guys that haven't really played much that stepped up. So, um, I mean, I mean, they went out there and gave it their all. So I'm really proud of them for that. But um, and then with Nathan, meant with Kyrick out, um, I mean, I feel like our receiver stepped up big. Um, Malik, he had a great game. Um, I'm really proud of him. And Malik, he just come in and work every day, keep his head down, learn everything he can. And um, it really just shows. And um, really, the receiver core to me, they all stuck together. And um, yeah, they held, they held their own. Okay. Ace, uh, last week, you know, at North Carolina, they had sacks. A lot of them, because of the coverage, was so good. Uh, mm -hmm. This week, they were able to get a little freer. Kind of, were there, as best you could tell, were there breakdowns or were they just a really good receiving core? Or what, what kind of happened that enabled them to, to get open? Um, they, they do have, they, they have a good receiving core. You know, I give them, I give credit where it's due. Um, you know, they, their receivers definitely made plays today, and um, I mean, I have to watch the film to really see everything, but. Um, I mean that's just how the ball rolls sometimes. They um, but credit credit to their receiving core. They did make a lot of uh, plays today, a lot of good catches and stuff. So um, you know those fifty fifties, we just got to find a way to win them. Rod, Jeff, how much confidence does it give you moving forward, knowing that you have a lot of good options now? Maybe not just one option. You have Carter. Uh, we saw Rutherford today pick it up. McCollum, another new face. Uh, how much confidence does that give you moving forward? Um, I've, I mean, I've always had confidence in my guys, and um, I always believe in them and trust in them and know that they're going to go out there and ball because we play for each other. And uh, we, just, we just build from this loss and um, build on our mistakes, and then we just keep it pushing. Jeff, I was just curious. That, you, know, you guys had a hard time running the football today, and the, um, Pitt had had some teams run the ball well on them. Kind of what were they doing to take away the run today? I mean, they just – I feel like they had a good game plan defensively coming in, um, putting the emphasis on the run, knowing because last weekend what happened in the run game. So just putting an emphasis on the run and game planning against that. And um, I feel like they executed that well. And, um, and, and then there's some mistakes on our side, of the, our side that we got to fix to help us execute better in the run game. Jonathan. Jonathan from Real Talk Sports. Uh, first question on defense, uh, what was the, the biggest problem in terms of containing their quarterback when he was making those rollouts? And then, uh, <laughs> young Mr. Gibbs, uh, you were the first, first Georgia Tech quarterback to throw for over 300 yards in about six or seven years. And uh, how does that make you feel as far as your overall performance, even though you guys lost? Um, what was the defensive question again? Yeah, so Um, he didn't do anything different on film. Uh, he's a, he, he good quarterback, good player. Um, we we seen on film. He has great pocket awareness. Um, he um 
he knows where their escape lanes are and he's able to get to them efficiently and stuff. So he, he just, he made plays. And um, I mean, that's no more I can say on that. He made plays. Um, can you ask my question again? Yes. Were you the first guy to throw for 300 yards, I think, in about seven years? Um, Will you please move your performance outside of the loss? And also, it seems like, I'm sorry, that you guys were able to do very well with short passes to your running backs who were able to do, do a lot after they caught the ball. Um, really, it was just going out there and taking what they give me. And um, at the end of the day, we still lost, so I, wasn't even, I, don't, I don't really even care about the stats that I had, but um, really just taking what they give me and staying prepared at all times and just really just, yeah, basically. Okay. The second interception, it looked like you had someone open going to the left. Yeah. Kind of what was, like, how good did that pass look to you or, or that play look to you? And just, I mean, obviously, it, was, it made a huge, huge swing. Yeah, I was talking to my dad last night on the phone, and we were just talking about how, like, in in the game when I know, like, I got something and it's, it's, it's about to be a big play or a touchdown, I just drop back, and then I see it in my head. I just be like, got him. And that's exactly what I said in my head. I said, got him, and I was ready to throw it, and then it got hit. But um, nah, I can't really control that, so I mean, I had to forget about it. Where are you going? I was going to Nate. Patrick, you're all around this up. Jeff, uh, you had 10 carries today, uh, and I was just interested. A couple of those looked like they were designed runs from the get-go, like uh, around the end, called as a run. Yeah. You look very comfortable doing that. Do you prefer those type of things? It just depends on the game situation. I mean, I'm just going to go out there and do what I can do. You know, I know I'm, I, I say I'm pretty good at running the ball, so when Coach installed that, I was like, all right, let's do it. I'm going to do whatever I have to do to help us win. And, um, yeah, I'm, I would say I'm pretty comfortable with it. Trey, how difficult was it back there with they have some really good receivers, especially Addison, when Pickett was allowed to sit back there a little? Is it, how tough is it to stay with those guys? I'm just playing, especially in conference play, um, in just Division One football, obviously other teams always going to have athletes to change from week to week. So whenever someone's a scramble drill, pretty much, um, it's going to be difficult to plaster, and that's what we needed to do more is, of, is just plaster on our guys and be able to, to get the ball out when the ball's thrown. Uh, Jameer, you had another touchdown called back on, on a hold. I imagine that's to be frustrating to not to not be able to get into the end zone. But you you've had several opportunities where you're real close. Is it just kind of been frustrating to not punch it in? I mean, uh, yeah, because we want to score points, but um, there's nothing we can do about it now. The game's over. We gotta come back tomorrow, watch the film, and get better. Jameer, just to pick up on that theme, you, you have had a stretch of bad luck. You had a kickoff return called back a year ago on a penalty today. You had one called back, and maybe the worst of all, the targeting that was uncalled back. How did you feel about that one? Yeah, like I said, I mean, nothing we can do about it. I mean, yeah, we just got to come back tomorrow. OK. Um, Jameer, just the. Uh, the, the difficulty in running the ball, what were they doing? And just how tough was it to, to get space when you had the ball? Oh, yeah, they're a good team. They blitz almost every every play. So it was hard to run inside zone, like gap, gap scheme runs against them since they blitz uh, internally. Kelly? Trey, is there anything in particular you put your finger on where you guys just couldn't get pressure today on them. I think you had the only sack of the game, and it just seemed like you guys had been really successful with getting pressure all year, and then this game, it was a struggle. Truthfully, I'm not sure just because when it is a pass down and we're covering, I can't really see what's going on in front of me, honestly, uh, until we go back and watch the film. But I do know that on the back end, as far as what I'm concerned, is if we cover better, then they get more sacks. If we cover longer, then they can get more sacks. And that's more so what my focus is, just to be able to allow them that time to get back there. Um, they've looked out for us in the previous weeks. we got to make sure we hold up under the bargain and also look out for them. More? Ken? Okay. A question for both of you guys. Um, obviously, this for in terms of your chances of winning the the division, this was a big game as their uh, division opponent. I'm curious just how do you feel about 
you know, after coming off such a big win, to to fall back a little bit and have to, to have to try to regroup again. So truthfully, um, each week is always going to be a battle. We knew it was going to be a battle, and uh, this doesn't knock our confidence any. We know that uh, winning this game would have put it more so in our hands, and since it's not, then we got to still do what we can do because if we go out there next week and lay an egg, or the week after that and lay an egg, then we still won't have a chance. But truthfully, the outcome is something that's going to get handled. We have to make sure that we increase our process and be able to do a good job at winning each day by day so that the outcome is you know, where we want it to be. Jonathan from Real Talk Sports. So, Jameer, obviously we talked earlier about the idea of the run game being stopped. It looked like you were able to do quite well uh, in terms of getting receptions and you know, yards after catch. Is that something you might see your offense doing more going forward? Uh, we've always done a lot, of that, a lot of that, but especially on this team because they play inside the box a lot, so it's easier to get out in space more. Rod? You, you go on the road now for a couple of weeks. Does that change your routine uh, as far as preparing for games? No, sir. It doesn't change the routines uh, as far as changing actual practice preparation and game preparation. Uh, it was more so just the uh, one travel day. I mean, we played away before and it was a drive, so that was usually as long as it really gets when it's playing right, it's kind of the same process. Anything else? Okay, Trey, Jameer, you